My name is Sarah Rutherford and I'm an assistant professor of medicine at Weill Cornell Medical College in New York. I'm going to talk to you today about a clinical trial in patients with diffuse large B-cell lymphoma and other types of aggressive B-cell lymphomas. Diffuse large B-cell lymphoma is the most common type of lymphoma and will be diagnosed in approximately 20,000 patients in the U.S. this year. The majority of patients will be cured with RCHOP or similar chemotherapy. In those patients who are not cured, a second type of chemotherapy, such as RICE, is often given and followed by autologous stem cell transplant in eligible patients. The goal of treatment remains to cure the lymphoma. However, this treatment is not effective in all patients. At Weill Cornell, we have been investigating ways in which we can improve outcomes in patients with relapsed and refractory diffuse large B-cell lymphoma. One way in which cancer cells continue to grow is by getting rid of proteins called tumor suppressor proteins, which normally cause cancer cells to die. The study drug, Selenexor, may work by trapping these tumor suppressor proteins within the cell and thus enabling the cell to stop growing and die when given in combination with chemotherapy. The purpose of this study is to determine the maximal tolerated dose of Selenexor when given in combination with RICE chemotherapy. Patients will be eligible for this study if they have relapsed or refractory diffuse large B cell or other aggressive lymphoma and have received one type of treatment with RCHOP or similar chemotherapy. Those patients who have received multiple types of treatments will not be eligible for this study. For more information about the lymphoma program, you can visit our website at www.cornell-lymphoma.com.